hello and welcome back guys this is ibrahim Qureshi here and today we are going to discuss a little bit more about vmware certification track um quite a lot of people are confused in a sense where they are following the video sessions which i have been created for the vmware certification for beginners and they are assuming um that basically after going through the sessions once they understand it they can directly sit for the exam um, let me be very clear here. The certification path from VMware does require you to sit on a five day uh, training course, and there is also a prerequisite before you can go for the VCP certification. So let's look into it a little more. For those of you who are joining me for the first time, my name is Ibrahim Qureshi, and um, welcome to my channel. So let's zoom in a little bit and look at what we have here. So the track we are following is the data center virtualization certification track okay and that basically is gain experience in vSphere so you're learning vSphere with me then the training course which is recommended is uh, VMware vSphere install and configure now there is a legend somewhere here um, I think it's at the bottom so required training has a triangle and and basically uh, recommended one is a shade head triangle and uh, required exam is a square so based on this legend we can go back here and understand that obviously gaining experience is a formal you know understanding but the triangle means it's a it's a requirement so vmware fee sphere install and con install configure and manage it's a required training it's um, it can be obtained from vmware certified partners or vmware learning partners or vmware themselves from vmware website you can have um, this training uh, online on demand instructor led whichever you prefer but that that is a requirement so that's a must you need to have this five day training you can um, you could potentially sit on an exam, but you won't be VCP certified unless you have this five day course, five day training. So, the next requirement, as you can see, square is a requirement for the exam. So, the next requirement is a vSphere foundation exam. Now, there is a little bit of uh, change in here. Instead of this, we can give the um, another VCA, which is associate level exam, which is called business. Um, associate we'll look into it in a little bit i can't remember the name but uh, earlier it was the uh, vSphere foundation exam which was a prerequisite now you can have the vca as a prerequisite vma certified associate as a prerequisite and it does say, uh, serve the same purpose we'll look into it a little bit in detail um now once you have the training and the foundation exam or the vca exam as a foundation then um you basically can go for another training which basically covers a little bit on certifications and some more um, in depth with troubleshooting and stuff which helps you for the exam but that's only an elective this is this is compulsory and this is an elective so if you have this training and you have passed your foundation exam then you can straight away book your vcp profession vcp professional exam and sit on the exam now if you do have uh, the exam and you have passed the exam then basically you will be a vmware certified professional okay now the track we are following again bear in mind is data central virtualization track and vmware last year has changed the certification track and they said there's no expiry on the exams anymore which is a good news so if you get an exam this year you will have uh, vsphere data center virtualization in uh year obviously you'll have a year called 2020 uh vcp dcv 2020 so that basically marks the year when you actually did your exam um and again it it will be on the current um available exam so you could potentially choose to give on 6.7 which is the only one available at the moment uh 6.5 has got retired already now going forward once you have this you could plan to go for advanced level exams which is called vcap vmware certified advanced professional um it is 
two exams to get this certification so you will have to sit for the deployment and the design so you need to get these two to be able to be qualified as a, a VMA certified professional um, and then basically you you can then think if you do want to go you know the doctorate doctorate sort of degree in VMware it's called VCDX there's a not a, there are not a lot of VCDX around um, so that's a quite prestigious exam and again if you look at the bottom oh, sorry if you look at the bottom the certification timeline so it shows obviously six months till you get your VCP since the time you started looking into it learning it as a beginner giving some hands-on practices on uh, it on lab and then after that you'll be prepared for your um yeah vcp certification and then obviously if you do want to go for other exams the vc uh v cap one they say it's around 12 months and two years for the vcdx so hope hope this is um really helpful for you guys because um i have quite a lot of people who have been messaging me about certifications i do want to go a little bit depth in in the certifications and badges so we can walk our way through um so this is the official vms website for exploring the certification track and requirements so uh, they have a quite easy tool to understand so let's agree this so that we get a bigger page so as you can see the vmware certified associate one which i was talking about which you could potentially take as a foundation one and then we get the vmware certified professional for administrators and engineers and then vcap and vcdx okay so they do have a um, uh, certificate which basically will also allow you to have a badge so we see vcp data center virtualization 2020 this is what you will be aiming for and you'll get the certification called professional data center virtualization and it will have 2020 now there were other tracks here like network virtualization cloud management and automation digital workspace and extra mobility which we did not discuss but they are here cloud management and automation extra mobility dt dtm track uh, the network virtualization which I love a lot and I'm focusing on the this one which is also called VMware NSX It was one of the product VMware bought called Nikera I think and they basically revolutionized the networking virtual networking and they basically have this as a Network platform now now the last day is the digital workspace uh, so these are the certification badges which you'll get so popular certifications and this is what you'll get the you know logos when you you can pass this now as you can see you can register for an exam view badge and manage certifications so the, everything you can be you can be doing it from the portal now discovery certification and badges in here you can see all the six tracks click on the data center and then it will take you to the badge so this is what you'll get vmware certified professional in data center virtualization okay and then you can click on vcap and then you get these two you need to pass these two exams and you'll be certified as data center virtualization in design and virtualization in dev deployment so this is the two you know exams which you need to pass to get the vcap then we have the vcd X, which is like a doctorate as I said which is data center virtualization in design X which is called design expert VCDX we have a certified design expert that is and then obviously we have other batches as you can see there's a lot there we have vSAN cloud AWS software defined data center yeah advanced architecture course so there's a lot of batches if you're interested in that you can sit on the exams for that now there's another one which I want to show you is this one. No, we have seen this. Sorry, let's go back. So when you uh, click on register for exam, you will be asked to create your own MyLearn ID 
normally you will do this when you basically sit on the training course they will basically ask you to register and uh, complete the course and your course which you completed will come up in the in the portal as well um, and then it will show you what courses you have been um, you know you have completed based on that they will track you that you have actually completed your course and then you are eligible for VCP certification so keep in mind and there are some good um, uh, you know training and exams in here if you w do want to create yourself a myland account feel free to do that and you can explore the myland portal as well now the one i was interested in showing was whoops data center virtualization if you click on this one it takes you on the next page which has a quick little tool so let's start again so when you come on this page you will find this little diagram here click on that and this is the exam i was talking about so instead of foundation you can actually go for the associate level and we are is pushing for this one it's called vca and um i, I couldn't remember the name before but it's called uh, dvt and it's basically stands for um digital business transformation so that's what it is called so you need to go for the associate level exam which is vca digital business transformation which covers a lot of sddc side and everything from vmware what they have been doing on the new digital transformation it's good to ha um, do that so that you get the you know good experience it's a lot about vSphere as well in the exam and then a lot about you know other uh, products around vmware so it's it's good exam to do i guess obviously from the foundation level they basically has decided that we need to change it and then they basically said this is what you need to do uh, the uh, digital business transformation exam once you have that you can go for the vcp in data center virtualization and then the other two which i said the advanced professional ones and the uh, vcdx design expert here but look at this guys this is what i love about okay so certification path if you hold no vcp then this is what you need to do simple as that you need to gain experience in vSphere attend one of the required training course which is vSphere install and configure which we saw over here which we saw over here vSphere install configure and manage this is the certification track uh, sorry the course which you need and then let's close this this is this is the course which you need attend vSphere install configure and manage and then you need to pass one of the foundation exam now the foundation exam is still obviously a requirement you need to pass the foundation exam over here as i said you can go for the dbt which is a digital business transformation exam and then only then you will be eligible and you can sit on pass one of the vmware professional data center virtualization exams for the next exam now if if um, you do want to see any related batches these are the batches so obviously you get data center virtualization professional um, certification and then you can have a vsan if you're looking at vsan specialist if you have vsan in your organization and you want to get certified in that it's only a badge it's not a certification so there's a difference between certification so this is a certification and this is a specialist so you get a badge of being a specialist and then you get another batch for re-realize operations which is another monitoring tool from vmware i have been doing uh, new sessions on um, v-realize operations 8.0 and 8.1 be sure to check them out um, and uh, obviously it's a really amazing tool which gives you insight about your virtual environment um, capacity planning and right sizing so there's a lot of functionalities around it we have the next one which is expert as i said which is a biggest milestone really okay so i hope you understand the track and uh, if you do have a certification already um which is the old one you can select if you have one from last year or if you have one from version 6.5 or 6 or you can select if you did had one in the past you can select these yeah and then it will say what exactly you need to do so if it is five then you still need to gain experience and attend the exam 
if you have 6.5 then obviously recommend that to attend a training course so it's not a must it's recommended and then you can directly sit and there is no requirement for the foundation exam either if you already have uh, 6.5 or you know vcp6 the previous version um so yeah i hope it makes uh, a lot of sense and if you have done it last year then obviously there is no attend one of the courses in 2020 so option one and option two pass one of the professional data center virtualization exams so again it's it's optional obviously if you have anything above uh 6.0 or 6.5 in data center virtualization you do not need to sit on the training course or sit on any uh, foundation exams that's that's a given but if you are a beginner and if you are learning with me on this channel um be sure to understand that uh, uh, you will need a five day training course and you will need to pass the uh, associate foundation exam okay hope you enjoyed this video uh, please feel free to share it with others so i hope you like this video be sure to subscribe like and hit the notification bell so that you get uh, notifications when i send you updates or uh, when i launch a new video also share it with others because this is um, a great opportunity for you to learn a new technology so i uh, hope you enjoyed the video cheers bye